Vestas is building a new green head office in Denmark. The goals are ambitious, with the focus on sustainability and flexibility. In addition to Vesta's recently constructed development center in Aarhus, construction is also underway on what will be one of Denmark's most energy efficient modern commercial buildings. The first stage, 23,000 square meters, consists of offices connected around a three-story high atrium. The atrium, with its large network of walkways, will ensure close contact between the various departments. Two central meeting centers provide the core of the more than 100 meeting rooms of various sizes the building will contain. Many of the meeting rooms are equipped with advanced technical facilities for holding meetings with people located all around the world. Vestas is a global company and this will allow us to maintain contact while saving on international flights. This is a sustainable initiative both in terms of costs and the environment. This will make Vestas headquarters a natural gathering point for the entire company. The building's exterior is dominated by the sunscreens of the office sections, made of matte and reflective glass. The glass segments are mobile and respond automatically to solar influence. The sun shields deflect 90% of the sun's heat. They also protect the building's underlying facade, rather like a wind cheater. The underlying facade is highly insulated and the location and orientation of the window openings have been optimized in relation to the position of the sun. These initiatives have helped to halve mechanical ventilation requirements and avoid the need for radiators. The minimal heat the building does require is supplied by the ventilation system. Vesta's headquarters will be the first Scandinavian building which can be LEED certified in the best category, Platinum. Only around 150 commercial buildings in the world have achieved Platinum certification. In terms of the Danish classification system, the building will be a low energy Class 1 building. The building features many environmental and energy initiatives. Green roofs delay rainwater and limit demands on the sewer system. They also ensure that the large roof surfaces of the building do not contribute to heating the building or the immediate environment. Rainwater is collected and used to flush toilets and water the grounds. The atrium features natural ventilation. The building's water consumption is being reduced by 20% through the use of water-saving fixtures and other initiatives. All of the building's waste will be sorted and kitchen waste will be composted. Intelligent low energy lighting is being used. The building produces energy itself. There is a highly efficient solar cell system on the roof. This is supplemented by semi-transparent solar cells on the glass roof of the atrium, which serve as the sun shield for the atrium in addition to producing electricity. The solar cell system produces enough electricity to supply the needs of 10 homes. Solar heat is also exploited by a large solar heating system, which supplies the building with heat equivalent to that used by 18 homes. The building also exploits the stored energy in the ground. Denmark's largest combined geothermal energy system with 36 kilometers of piping will supply the building with both heating and cooling capacity. This system, in combination with solar heating, 
supplies the building's total heating and cooling requirements. These initiatives reduce the building's CO2 emissions by 90%. Technical initiatives can go a long way, but all studies have shown that what really helps is to make consumption visible to individuals and thereby influence their behaviour. Everyone in the building will therefore be able to monitor current consumption for each department on screens, opening the way for energy competitions and the like. The building's common areas are all in close proximity to the atrium. The building's primary interior surfaces are a combination of light Scandinavian natural materials with texture and warmth and white surfaces which reflect the light, a combination which helps to create a pleasant and inviting atmosphere. The majority of the materials are regional, acquired within a radius of 800 kilometers, in order to minimize the transport associated with construction. The atrium is an inviting place to hold informal meetings and spend time in. Vestas is an organisation which is constantly on the move, making great demands on the flexibility of the offices. The office areas have therefore been designed with interior walls that can be erected and moved at three metre intervals as required. This allows very varied office environments to be easily set up, with offices accommodating from 1 to 20 people without any impact on the building's technical installations. The sun shields can be controlled from each person's workstation. All of the building's energy consuming systems have been analysed to find less energy consuming alternatives. For example, it was possible to arrange for the first electric height adjustable desk which does not use standby electricity. The ambitious goals for the building are being passed on to the building contractor. Construction site sheds and containers will be heated using energy efficient heat pumps. All construction waste will be sorted and at least 50% will be recycled. We are well underway with the construction of the new headquarters which will set many new standards in sustainability. In November 2011 we will open the doors. Wind, it means the world to us.